What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. If you are new here, my name is Carol and for those of you who are not new here and are returning, what's up guys? Welcome to another video. Today I wanted to share with you guys a few of my favorite things this month that have been getting me through this weird ass quarantine. We're bored or don't know what to do with ourselves and so these are just little things that I've been applying in my day to day quarantine life. I wanted to share with you in case you guys might be interested too. So before getting into this video, if you haven't done so already, subscribe down below. I do upload once a week as of right now. By the way, I'm sitting on a medicine ball. So I'm about to, I'm about to. Um, so yeah, let's get into this video. First, I wanted to start off with some face stuff, some of my face favorite items. So things I've been using in my skin routine and also just little things that I don't know why I've become like obsessed with. So. The first one is a vitamin C serum. This vitamin C serum I actually picked up at TJ Maxx. It was super cheap, it was literally $6. I'm sure you can find this online. I will link everything down below, but I'm obsessed with this vitamin C serum. It's called Morning Glow, and literally I put it on every morning before putting on my moisturizer, and I swear it has made my skin feel so much better, so much more hydrated, and it's just been kind of like a nice little Zhuzh I've been enjoying in the morning. But yeah, that's a face oil I've been loving and I, I highly recommend it. Highly recommend it for my ladies, even for my gentlemen. Next one is charcoal nose strips. Oh, it makes me feel like Dr. Pimple, you know those nasty YouTube videos where like you just see all the pores and they're just like peeling off and you just see little things. A few moments later. So this literally will unclog the nasty pore situation. So literally they're, they're strips. Obviously you wet them, you put them on and you peel them off and you just see all the nasty little come out. I don't know why it just, it's thrilling to me, but it is. I just feel like it helps clear pores. And if you're like me and you just will thoroughly enjoy feeling like your skin's been unclogged, Loving these charcoal strips. You can buy these anywhere. It doesn't really matter what brand. I'm not really with a specific brand when it comes to no strips. So I just found these. I think I found these at like, where did I buy these? Big Lots or something. It was ridiculous. It was like a dollar. So yeah, strips. The other thing I've absolutely been loving and I've loved for actually a really long time, but it's been nice. You can do these like once or twice a week and give yourself a little facial night. It gives you something to look forward to. I love hydrating masks. These hydrating masks I got from Target. They are bomb.com. Every time I use these, I feel like I just had a nice little spa day. So this is nice, you know, I put a little mask on, have a little vino, enjoy some music, get in the tub. That's if you don't have kids, you know, and you have time. <laughs> But this is nice. I like this. I'll put this on either at night or in the morning just to give my, my skin a little, a little quench. It's been really nice. Okay, I'm gonna bring some of you back to your childhood right now. I have a toy that I technically bought for my son. <laughs> but sometimes if my brother is around, he'll put on the other one and I'll explain what, he, what I mean by the other one. And we will literally throw the ball back and forth. Sometimes, Games that you didn't think would make you feel a little bit more alive do and a lot of people be like, oh, you know, let's play Uno. Let's play cards. Let me show you what I got Who remembers these? <laughs> this is so fun. First of all, it's it's different than throwing the ball back and forth and possibly breaking something if you miss the ball with this massive velcro thing on we need to take you back to sports class or PE, but this has been a lot of fun. My son tries to get the hang of it. He'll slide his little hand through and he's been kind of trying, but my brother and I will hold on, we'll do this and just go back and forth. And I swear we zone out, but this has been kind of fun and it brought me back to my childhood. And there's sometimes feeling like a little kid again, it gives you that little umph throughout the day to just get a little pep in your step when you've been like down or you're bored or whatever. It's fun. I've been enjoying it. So shout out to Dollar Tree for this come up. The other thing I've been enjoying a ton because I am working out at home a lot and I I knew about pull-up bars but I never really thought about investing in a pull-up bar but a pull-up bar is awesome because it technically is a full body workout because you're working out your core, you're working out your upper body and you're getting kind of a cat, uh, cardiovascular. But this pull-up bar is pretty cool. I, whoa, it looks like a 
mechanism. Obviously this pull-up bar, you hang over your door and you can do wide pull-ups, narrow pull-ups, chin-ups, whatever. But also if you put this on the floor, it'll give you different ways of doing abdominal workouts. You can actually do leg workouts. You can use it to rest your foot um, and do some hamstrings or whatnot. There is a ton of ways you can use this. So this has been kind of awesome throughout my workouts on full body days, on upper body days, on lower body days. So I've been loving this pull-up bar. I bought this at Big Five. It was about $32, something like that, but it's been awesome. I use it almost every day that I work out. So it's been an awesome investment. If you're having a hard time getting a hold of weights or other objects to work out with, this will be pretty clutch because it helps you in more ways than one. So this was fun. The next couple things I wanted to mention are things that I've been using to kind of soothe, ease your mind, de-stress, get a hold of your anxiety. One of my favorite things to use is a diffuser. So the one I have is an essential oil diffuser and I purchased some lavender and sometimes just smells like lavender or anything minty and fresh will kind of make your senses relax. So lavender has been really nice. I've used that. And there's all sorts of different types of essential oil diffusers you can find. I will link the one that I have down below, but that's nice. Sometimes turning on the diffuser, sitting down, playing some music and having some tea has just the simplicity in that will soothe you if you're having a moment where you just feel like stir crazy it's nice it's been a nice little touch for me the next one is meditation i started meditating every day for about 10 minutes sometimes if i don't have 10 minutes do five or however long you can but meditation not to sound all namaste on you guys but meditation has really helped me i've enjoyed it it's allowed me to find a way to control not control, but calm my thoughts. If I feel like I'm going down a rabbit hole of negative thoughts, sometimes sitting out, sit, ugh, sometimes sitting down for meditation will help ease my mind. And it's actually had a long lasting effect just in my daily life. So I highly recommend meditation. I know there's a ton of apps. I'm not really huge on the apps. I more so go on to YouTube and I will look up healing sounds, healing frequencies. You can also find guided meditations on YouTube. So just literally type in guided meditation and sometimes other things will pop up like guided meditation for stress, guided meditation for help sleep or stuff like that. So yeah, look into that. That's been awesome for me. Love it, enjoy it. I will link my favorites down below so you guys can check those out. The next one is obviously reading. Reading a good book, you know, it just, there's something about a book that just I find so much joy in. And some of my favorites that I think would help people in these weird times, one of them is called The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. Love that one. He has another one called A New Earth. A lot of people will be like, oh, those are just like corny self-help books. And you know what? There's nothing wrong with corny and there's nothing wrong with self-help. Sometimes we need words of, of affirmation, words of encouragement. And if you feel like you need that, I highly recommend those two books. The next thing I have been doing and have been doing since I was a child, literally, I think I have tons of journals. Um, I went to the Dollar Tree and bought myself a cute little journal and it says on the front, don't quit. And sometimes you can't really figure out what the hell you're feeling. And it's nice to just grab a piece of paper and a pen and write out your thoughts or even writing out things that you're grateful for each and every day will kind of trigger you into just feeling more happy. So journaling is awesome. I highly recommend it. I've been doing it for such a long time, but more so now that we're in this weird time, because sometimes if you leave everything inside your brain and you can't process your own thoughts, sometimes seeing it on paper will allow you to kind of figure out like why you're feeling a certain way. So journaling, highly recommend it. The last two items I wanted to share with you are two items that I was gifted, but I felt like I wanted to share with you guys because these items have been a game changer for me in quarantine. And let me tell you why. As a person who creates content or who needs to have uh, updated portfolio shoots, updated digitals for my agencies, it is essential for me to be able to take high quality photos at home. And sometimes the lighting at home is not very good. So even I'm using it right now while filming this video and I'm obsessed with it. And what I'm talking about is a ring light from a company called Newer. 
I'm so thankful this ring light came now more than ever because I'm having to make stuff at home and the lighting, first of all, it's been raining and ugly outside so I don't get really good natural lighting. So this ring light has been a game changer for me. It's allowed me to have better lighting when I'm doing my workout videos and stuff like that because other than that, it would have been inconsistent lighting. So now I have this ring light and I am so thankful. But it's from a company called Newer and it comes in this little travel it comes in this little travel pack, which is awesome. And you literally, everything fits inside this bag. So you can take it with you when we're allowed out or to tuck it away and put it away. It doesn't take up a lot of space. Obsessed with it, very thankful for it. Highly recommend it. The last item I'm gonna to talk to you guys about are these blue light glasses from a company called Sojo's. I might be saying that right, it might be Suju's, I don't really know. All I know is that they're bomb and I'm so thankful they sent these to me. It's one of those things where you're like, I didn't really know I needed it until I had it. And so when I got these, I was relieved because I was becoming that person who was staring at my phone like this because the light was like overwhelming. And when you're having to edit or edit little clips, like when I'm editing clips for my food page, I'm staring at my screen for such a long time and my eyes were literally burning. So these are super cute. Let me show these to you. Check out these bad boys. Woohoo! I look like a little, like a teacher. Like, let me teach you a few things. But no, I love these. Do you see how the, the lens is like super, it looks odd, right? It looks like they would be prescription glasses, but they're not. So yeah, they're blue light glasses. I love them. They come in multiple frames. They're super cute. So you don't feel like a weirdo with these on while you're looking at your phone and editing. It relaxes your eyes. You don't use so much squinting and force while you're using your phone, your computer. The blue light on our screens is actually really dangerous to our eyesight. So if you are a person like me and is constantly on your phone for work reasons, this is nice. Even on your computer, don't be that person that's like, these are awesome. And they also have sunglasses. Ooh, I love these sunglasses. Make me feel bougie. <laughs> They're so Hollywood, but I'm not in Hollywood, but I love these. They have a lot of really cute styles. The other ones that I thought were super cute that I got are these. They're so they're so hipster, but I love them. But yeah, don't doesn't it look like I'm just gonna go read a ton of books right now? But literally it's for me to go edit some ish on my phone. But yeah, I love these so much. These are making a difference in me not forcing my eyeballs until they bleed while I'm editing. That's all my stuff. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed these items. I am going to do a quarantine snack favorites video. So trying to make a positive out of this situation and I hope you guys at home are too. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. I do want to start sharing your comments on my videos, so if you do leave a comment, I will pick a comment of the week and I will share it at the end of my next upload. So thank you guys for tuning into my channel. Hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Adios.